This is a tutorial on how to install 360 Works plugins for FileMaker Pro 13. First thing you're going to do is open up a browser and go to 360works.com and then you're going to click on the products tab at the top and you can see a list of their products that they offer on the left. We're going to choose Scriptmaster today. Then once we get there we're going to go over here to where it says own a license we're going to click on download the current version. We'll save that. Now I'm going to go to my downloads folder, get ready for it. Okay, the download's completed. And we've got a zip folder, so we're going to right click and go to extract all, extract. Okay, now we can delete that zip folder. Now that we've got the unzip folder, we're going to go in the unzip folder and we're going to choose Windows. If you had a Mac operating system, you would use this folder. And then once you get in that Windows folder, you can see that the FileMaker Pro plugin is the first one here. Now that we've got that isolated, we're going to go to File, Open New Window, and we're going to click on This PC. And we're going to double click on Local Disk C users, your username, and then we're going to look for a folder called app data, which will only be showing if view hidden items is checked. If it's not checked, app data will not be showing because it's a hidden folder. So we're going to double click on app data once it's showing. We're going to click on local, FileMaker, FileMaker Pro or Pro Advanced, and then we're going to select our version. I'm going to choose 13. Then we have an extensions folder here. And if that folder does not exist, you can just create it. Going new folder extensions. But since it exists, I'm just going to use that one. So now that we're in that folder, we're going to drag the plugin file into the folder place the file if it already exists. And now our plugin is installed. We can verify that by opening up FileMaker Pro 13, going to Edit, Preferences, Plugins, and we can see there is our installed plugin. Now that that's done, we can go back to our uh, Downloads folder here, and we can delete that folder.